Hello, good afternoon. Today is Friday. It's the last day of March. It is also Cesar Chavez Day, which is a, a local holiday. So state employees have the day off, which means that I am off work today, which is awesome. I slept in today until like almost 9.30, although I kept waking up beforehand, you know, because you wake up around 6, which is the normal time to get up for work, and then kind of, excuse me, keep waking up, and then decide, oh, I'm sleeping in. So sleeping in super long. So um, today Andy and I are thinking about going to the Moxie, which is the new children's museum in downtown Santa Barbara. I've heard that it's super crazy on the weekends. We do not want to go on the weekends and that mornings can also be busy, but that it quiets down a bit in the afternoon. So that's why it's now like a quarter after 1 p.m. and we're kind of thinking, when should we go? Um, normally, personally, like I tend to do errands and go out places in the morning, like late morning, like 10, 11, 12, one-ish, and then come home for the afternoon and I'm done. So it's kind of weird to be like, I'm finally going somewhere and it's after one o'clock. <laughs> Just breaks routine. Anyways, yeah, so Andy and I are thinking about going to the Children's Museum and seeing what they have there. This is a new place in Santa Barbara. They opened up maybe about, I wanna say they opened up in February. So they're still very new and popular and a lot of people wanna go there. So anyways, it'd be really neat to see what kind of exhibits they have, what things we can play with. Uh, we definitely wanna like get down on the ground or get low and play with whatever's around and <laughs> learn some cool stuff. Um, yeah, so that's about it for today. So here's the side of the Moxie, the uh, Children's Museum. Um, there is a parking lot here. I think this is called Lot 13. Um, it's shared with like a Greyhound station or something but um, when I tried to enter from along a different street it said it was full so I'm not too sure I ended up just doing some street parking for free along Montecito Street so that's cool because I won't have to pay um, yeah so I'm just gonna head up and around and Andy actually parked over um, where did Andy? Andy parked at Chocolate Maya, so he's gonna have to go. He'll have a longer walk than me because he'll have to go underneath the bridge and he'll be a few minutes behind. But the spot I found, I feel like that's pretty good. Didn't have to pay. Um, so this border is the funk zone. So let me show you what I can see up ahead. That is uh, considered the funk zone along there. Some construction right there. Just so much going on around town. I can't wait until we go up on the roof and we go up there and look around. It's gonna be really cool. I think the Children's Museum is gonna be awesome. So there is State Street. Andy will be coming from down that way. Right next to us is the Regan Ranch Center. I've never been there, but um, that is something. And then these little shuttles, I think they're like 25 cents or something. You can take a little shuttle up and down State Street. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's a lovely day today. Here's the front entrance to the Moxie. It's got a really neat thing up there, turning around with different colored glass. There is the lookout up top and some bicycle parking. And it's right next to Hotel Indigo, which is a train. There's one down in Anaheim, actually. Here we go. Andy, what are you thinking? Are you excited? I'm very excited. You're so tall. How about that? Perfect, because <laughs> it's either my face or it's your face. There's no getting both of us. <laughs> All right. That's awesome, doesn't it? It does. Oh, and they've got steps over here. I think there's two accessible parking spaces around back. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm totally buying that dinosaur. You're gonna get that dinosaur? You're gonna take it home? Yep. Is he gonna scare Stitch and Fig? Yes, until they become best friends with it. <laughs> now open. Children's door. Um, I think that we need to use the children's door. <laughs> you are, because you're too tall. You gotta duck. Wow. Okay, where do we pay? Members, tickets, and membership sale. It's a big hand, some noise is going on. Okay, so we pay for our admission up here. Got the gift shot. Hit you right when you leave. Okay, what, did, what were you saying about that? It's a capo, so you adjust it. Yeah. And you move it up and down, so instead of having the open strings, uh -huh. you can have it pressed up against a certain fret, and okay. then it plays it based on that one string of head, one fret ahead. Does that make sense? What do you do with these? 
That's how you tune it. So you, can you play with them? Yeah, on a regular guitar you would turn this, which would turn this, which would tighten this, or loosen it. Holy crap, Olas. Yeah. Look at that big guitar. Watch out, little ones. Little kids. Little ones. Little That's ones. Cool, huh? Yeah. It's so like over a huge guitar. So over at that globe, we took pictures of our hands on these little sensor things, and then we put it up on the globe. People are doing their faces too, you see? Oh! <laughs> oh, that's funny, you can do your face too. Oh, Sonos, they're local, they do a sound system. UCSB Engineering. Hyperloop, that's the thing you want to send up so that you don't have to, it's the thing to take you to the Bay Area. From oh, that's right. From LA to San Francisco, it'd be like a really cool little pod. That'll be faster than a train. It'll be really fast and take you way up to the Bay Area. Yeah. The fifth form of transportation. Finally. I know. I'm waiting for a fifth one. Shove us in a tube Move and, all the air. and take me up there. People go in this. With magnets. Magnets of the future. Magnets. And then we go really fast. I would not be comfortable <laughs> with this. A You're Bugatti. Oh, faster than a Bugatti. Faster than those bullet trains. How fast does it go? A million miles an hour. Faster than a Boeing. I would get sick and I would bark everywhere. What do you do when it turns? Maybe it's not that fast. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Sonos. This is the loud, annoying thing. That's a 35, 35 minutes. 35 minutes from LA to San Francisco. That would be amazing. Please oh, make this really a reality. Hard. That'd be cool, huh? Yeah. Do you want to go play with the loud thing that everyone keeps making a big ruckus with? Sure. What do we do with it? I think it's just giant magnets. What do we do with it? This Magnetize. is all. Magnetize but people things. make so much noise with it. I was like, what are they, they doing? <laughs> It is cool if you throw it, throw one at my thing, and just toss it. Look at these giant <laughs> bolts. They're huge. Oh, and there's an outdoor area. Look at that. What is that? Oh, it's like They're... Plinko, what's, right? What's... From, uh, from Price is Right? I don't know Isn't what Plinko is. I don't know. Okay. You go play the guitar, honey. Okay, so what else? Got all kinds of Even stuff. The bench has a thing on it. I know some wording on it. Is the temperature different from the floor? I don't pay attention to the floor temperature. What? This is Plinko, you said? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a donor wall. And there's people. There's people walking on top of us. What? Well, we're definitely going to have to go up there, right? Yeah, we're going to have to go on the roof. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Kind of design a structure. That's like a little, I don't know, it looks like a plane to me. But this looks <laughs> interesting, the donor wall. Can you see the ball going all the way up? Yeah, he shoots it all the way up, and yeah. then it hits all these things on the way down. Oh, they're donors. Yeah, it's the donor wall. So you have all the names of the donations. Oh, wow. Whoever supported it. That's really cool. I like these lights too. They are different colors. We got the blue, the green, the orange. I think at night that'd be neat too. Yeah. What are all these tubes for? Oh, those tubes are going fast. Oh, they shoot out of the ceiling. Oh, really? The tubes go in and then shoot out up here a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where'd it go? Oh my god. <laughs> There's our, oh! <laughs> I tried to follow it, yeah. These things are coming out of everywhere. Yeah. I lost it. I don't know where it went. I don't know either. This looks, I think there's this yeah. California Academy of Sciences that I went to once. That looks gorgeous. It almost looks like a Rube Goldberg machine. Okay. Right? I don't know what that is. Where like you tip over a domino and at the end you like make fried eggs or something. Oh, okay. Like one process leads to another. Road sound machine. 
This thing looks like fun. It's like a gumball machine, actually. <laughs> or that mouse thing. Do you remember that mouse thing? Mouse trap? Mouse trap, yeah. yeah. You'd have all the little things going. Oh, the thing going down, the yellow thing. Oh, what is that one up to? That's so cool. Oh, now it comes back and drop the ball in. Oh, oh. It'll come up here. And I think the color just changed, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there's a bunch more balls up here. And then it ends up back in the thing to get back spun up again. Huh. That's so cool. Yep. <laughs> what do you think so far, Andy? There's a lot. There's a lot going on. A lot of noise. Yeah. A lot of stimulation. stimulation yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of stuff happening here. We've zeroed in on the light bright and we need to go over there. So we just made our way upstairs. That was the entrance. These are the stairs to come up. All these bikes spinning. And we see a light bright. And we are going to figure out what else we can play with up here and how to get up to the rooftop. Is this the rooftop up here? Oh, it looks like it. I thought the roof may have been higher though. I thought it was above there. We'll see. Okay. Do you want to go play with the light bright? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, does that control this? Oh, maybe. It probably the little girl t oh, turning like it. it. Yeah. Oh, oh. Changes so that. Cute. Oh my god, light bright. You can like, I think it's like a, uh, what do they call this thing? A kaleidoscope? Yeah. Is it like a monster kaleidoscope? Yeah, pretty much. I want to play with a light bright. Yeah. Whoa, it is just like a kaleidoscope. <laughs> Are you changing it, honey? Oh, I see it changed. Whoa, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Those are pretty colors. Oh, now it's a blue. Oh, I like that blue. You like the blue? Yeah, it's pretty. How about purple, pink? Pretty. Very pretty. Oh, that one's pretty too. Yeah. Orangey color. It's a yellowy one. More yellowish. I feel like I meant the optis, ophthalmologist <laughs> when they're like, does this, does this look clear to you? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I think you got nice views, views of town too. Yeah. You can see the mountains behind there. Yeah. We just went to the rooftop sky garden over here. This is where we were downstairs and we saw people walking above us. <laughs> and if you put your eye down there, you can see people below. These are supposed to be little holes that you look in and you see everyone down below. So we can we can be creepers and we can peek on people. <laughs> oh, because they're not... Uh... Okay. Yeah, they're clear in those ones. You can see people down there. <laughs> if I want to creep on people. Beautiful views. Oh, they've got bathrooms up here too. Oh, wow, every floor. Refill your water bottles. Yeah. That's good. And here we are in beautiful Santa Barbara. This is a total possible location for special events. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> oh, you can see the Arlington steeple. Yeah. Over That's there. The one, That's the one in the, like the highest one on the slight left, right? Yeah. I don't know where the courthouse. Uh, That's pretty tall too, though. Oh, the courthouse. I think I, there's either a church or something. I'm not too yeah, sure. I can't tell. This is beautiful. I love the hills of Santa Barbara. I know. I like the hills more than the ocean. <laughs> more than, well, we never go to the ocean. The hills are beautiful. Yeah, we can see the ocean on that side. Do you want to go look at it on that side, honey? Yeah. yeah? Let's check it out. I okay, think this okay. is an air cannon. I don't know what an air cannon stand is. Stand on that side. I stand on this side? Yeah, stand on that side. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wow. It's like you, it? you shot some air at me. You, you do it. I want you to feel it. Okay. Be ready. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It wasn't too much air on my side. These are cool chairs yeah. and blinds. Good. Okay, so there's the beach. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, there's this whole water play structure. Yeah. But beach over there and a little bit over there. Oh my gosh. Water. Okay. Uh huh. Water. And then it comes down. Huh. You gonna pump the water, Andy? Oh, there you go. oh, look! It's working. It's totally. And it goes down the whole system, I guess. I, unless you have to keep pumping at each individual one. No, this one goes down. Your water's going down, honey. Yeah. Yay! I did it. 
You did. <laughs> I want to look at the views a little bit. All right. That sounds like a vacuum. There's so many things to look at. I know. So you got ocean over there yeah. and over there. And then that construction kind of in the way. Yeah, they shouldn't just, have built that. Just get rid of that. Our you can see a little bit more over there. Right now we're at the Tobes family. Tobes, you see that around town? Yeah. Tobes Lookout Tower. And it's got a neat gazebo. Gonzola? I don't know. I don't know. It looks cool though. It's beautiful. Yeah. All this clear glass. You can get a really good view around town. Amtrak State. There's some highway signs. <laughs> There's green highway signs there. The ocean. Loud kids. Yeah. Oh, there's the sea center that we went to, honey. Oh, yeah. There's our little Ty, for Ty Warner Sea Center, whatever it is. Yep. So Andy and I are done with the Moxie Museum. These are our wristbands that we had to wear. And now I'm gonna pick up uh, dinner, lunner, I don't know. I only had a yogurt and part of a banana for lunch and now it's like four o'clock so it's actually like an early dinner. I guess I'm picking up dinner from Choi's Oriental Market. Um, it's owned by a Korean couple. They have all kinds of, it used to be just like dry goods and stuff like that and candy and snacks and stuff to cook. But then they opened up their little cafe inside and now they have all kinds of like authentic Korean food. So I'm gonna get some bulgogi. I call, called it in for pickup. Um, I got it as a set so it'll also come with kimchi and some soup and um, other stuff on the side which is pretty awesome and he makes a variety of different items here let's hope this car doesn't hit me what is going on why are you so slow all right i just got home with my dinner my bulgogi from joy's oriental market i got the set which i've never gotten before it's kind of basically consider it a combo meal <laughs> in american terms huh it comes with all this stuff on the side we've got pickled cucumbers i don't know what this is called but i'm pretty sure i like it some kimchi soup i don't know if this is miso soup but i really don't bother with soup much a big thing of rice, and then this is all of the bulgogi. So it'll be a couple meals worth. Um, yeah, it'd be good for sharing. Like if you have a friend and you guys want to share food, or if you just want to have a bunch of leftovers. So I'm gonna have that as my dinner, and I am tired. The children's museum just wiped me out for some reason. Um, I think I get nervous in new places. Plus. There's noise and activity and so much new stuff. Um, it was fun, but I think it'd be really cool to go when they have those adult evenings where you just go and um, I think they have cocktails or something and you maybe pay a bit more, but it's just adults, no kids. <laughs> You don't have to worry about backing up into a kid and almost walking into them and all that stuff. Um, so that would be cool. And then afterwards, we actually went and walked over to a certain chocolate store to pick up something special for my sister. So I'm going to mail this to her. I'm a little bit concerned that it's been warm lately. It's been in the 70s here, but it's pretty cold up there. So anyways, I've got a little um, treat to give her. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we went to Chocolate Maya after the Children's Museum, and now I'm gonna eat because I am hungry. Hey there, it's Friday night, and I am watching some It's Always Sunny. I've got little Fig back there. Are you watching the show with me, Fig? Yes. All right, so I'm just gonna say good night and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the vlog and hopefully it wasn't too loud at times. I know it could get loud a bit at the museum, but um, it's really neat. And I think if you're ever in the area and you've got kids or if you're single or whatever, an adult or <laughs> any age, you can go there and enjoy it and um, have fun. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a good night and see you later. Bye-bye. Stitch says good night too. And don't forget about me. <laughs> we'll never forget about you, Stitchy Boos. <laughs> okay, good night.